We all make mistakes at work, but believe it or not, there is a right way and a wrong way to talk about your mistakes at work. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about what that right way is because so many people are going about it the wrong way and it's hurting their career. Now, before we get into that video, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that you can get notified whenever new videos like this are added to the YouTube channel. And again, all of these things are designed to help make you a better leader. Let's take a scenario where you are given the responsibility for a project at work. And for whatever reason, you make a mistake, it doesn't go well. And now you have to go to your leader and talk about that mistake. Now, what a lot of people do is they might just go to their leader at the time and they'll just say something like, oh, I'm so sorry I made a mistake. Now, I can promise you that your leader is not sitting there thinking, oh, great, thank you for telling me. Your leader is sitting there thinking, okay, and? <laughs> thank you for telling me you made that mistake, but it still got messed up. The client is still unhappy. The deadline was still not met. So what are you going to do about it? Now, there's a difference between feeling safe to talk about a mistake at work versus how to talk about a mistake at work. Now, feeling safe to explore your mistakes and challenges is one thing. That's what we talk about when we refer to psychological safety. That's not what I'm referring to. I'm talking about assuming that you have that psychological safety and you can talk about those mistakes or challenges, how should you go about doing it in the right way? Do you wanna hear something really crazy? 96% of the people who watch videos on this channel are not subscribed. Help me change that number around by subscribing so that you can get access to more videos just like this one. And now let's get back to the content. To talk about what that right way is, let's take a step back for a minute and revisit the relationship between an employee and an employer. So the way that this typically works is that an organization has a job that it needs to fill. It needs help with something. You as a candidate, as an employee say, hey, I can do that thing that you need to get done. The company says, great, we'd love to hire you. You sign some paperwork and now you're working for that organization doing the things that you need to do. Now, in that kind of environment, if you simply just talk about your mistakes and challenges all the time, eventually what's going to happen is that your leaders and your peers are going to look at you and they're going to say, hey, wait a minute, we're confused here. We hired you because you said that you're able to do X, Y, Z, but you keep making a lot of mistakes. You keep talking about challenges and obstacles and why you can't do the things that we hired you to do. Maybe this isn't a good fit and you should go look for a position elsewhere. Now, look, we all make mistakes. I make mistakes all the time. I'm sure you've made mistakes. Your leaders make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. This doesn't mean that you need to hide them. This doesn't mean that you need to pretend to be perfect. But in that first scenario that I gave you, you go to your leader and you simply say, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. It doesn't solve anything. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't address anything. Your leader is still going to look at you and say, what are you going to do about it? The right way that you should be talking about your mistakes, again, assuming you have that level of psychological safety, is what I call leading with vulnerability. This is a, a portion of leading with vulnerability. Now, in this case, the best thing that you can do is not just to talk about the mistake that you made, but talk about what you learned from that mistake and what you're going to do in the future to make sure that that mistake does not happen again. So, Going back to that hypothetical scenario that I presented earlier, your leader, your manager gives you something to do, you mess up. Instead of just going and saying, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, try saying, I'm really sorry I made that mistake, but here's what I learned from the mistake that I made. And here are three things that I'm going to do, three processes or three steps that I'm going to put into place to make sure that mistake does not happen again. Because now what you've done is not only did you talk about the mistake, but you told your leader what you're doing to make sure that this problem will not happen. Again, you're taking ownership, you're taking accountability, and you're taking action. And so now your leader is not gonna look at you and say, well, great, what are you gonna do about it? Your leader is thinking, you know what? I appreciate that. I'm glad that you identified the mistake. I'm glad that you came and you talked to me about it. And I really appreciate that you were being proactive in taking steps to make sure that our clients are served better in the future or that this issue does not happen again or that we are able to meet deadlines in the future. So you're doing yourself a huge service. You're doing a huge service for your leader and for your team. And this is going to pay extreme dividends, especially as you're growing and excelling in your career because leaders, people who get promoted, we want people who have ownership, 
who have that accountability, who have that responsibility, who are able to grow and develop. We don't want people who can just say, I made a mistake. We want people who are going to talk about what they're doing to close the gap, to solve the problem. And so that's why the way that you talk about your mistakes at work can make all the difference. Explain what you've learned, how you're going to make sure that those mistakes do not happen again. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get more content like this every single week. Thanks for watching.